Hi there, welcome to Encouraging Word, a brief word of encouragement from the Bible. My name is Dave. I'm in Killarney, Manitoba, which is a wonderful little spot here in the southwest corner of our province. If you've never been here, you really need to plan on making a trip to come to Manitoba and come to Killarney. We'd love to see you, love to meet you, let me know you're in the area. We'd love to uh, connect with you. This week we're talking about confidence. Hebrews chapter 4 says that we can approach God's throne of grace boldly in our time of need and find help for whatever the situation is. Whatever your need is, you can come to God and find help. You can do that with confidence, knowing that God cares for you. Uh, we read in James chapter 1, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. God loves it when we trust him completely. Uh, God loves it when we put our full confidence in him. Remember when the disciples were facing that storm uh, that they thought was going to kill them and Jesus was sleeping on the boat? When they woke him up, Jesus didn't say, oh, you poor guys, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have put you in such an awkward uh, situation. I, 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 I should have been here more for you. He doesn't do that. He says, oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? He gets after them for their lack of faith. And we need to be encouraged by the fact that God responds to us when we show confidence in him. I think of Elijah in the Old Testament calling down fire from heaven on an altar that he drenched with water. And he called out to God in a simple prayer and immediately God's fire fell. God loves it when people respond and call out to him in faith. Uh, Jesus loves people who step out confidently in faith. Uh, Peter stepped over the side of the boat uh, to walk on the water. That's the focus. It's not on whether he, he began to sink or not. The issue is that Peter walked on water because he was confident that Jesus said he could do it. When the Roman soldier came and asked for healing for a servant, uh, he said, you don't have to come to my house. Just speak the word. I know you have spiritual authority. And Jesus replied, saying he hadn't seen such great faith in all of Israel. This centurion, this Roman, this Gentile was showing faith that no one else showed. And he commented on the great faith. God wants us to grow in faith. God wants us to grow in confidence in the word of God. God means what he says, and you can base your life on that. Every day is an opportunity for us to grow in faith and confidence in the Lord. That does not mean every day is going to be super and great and fantastic. Believe me, there are going to be some tough days, and some of you know what that means. After talking about boldly coming to the throne of grace in Hebrews chapter 10, even in Hebrews 10, he reminds people that we can come boldly into the Holy of Holies by the blood of Jesus Christ. In that same chapter, he says this, in starting in verse 32, Remember those early days after you had received the light? when you endured in a great conflict full of suffering, sometimes you were publicly exposed to insult and persecution. At other times you stood side by side with those who were so treated. You suffered along with those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property because you knew that you yourselves had better and lasting possessions. So do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. You need to persevere so that when you've done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. For in just a little while, he who is coming will come and will not delay. And by righteous, by my righteous one will live by faith. And I take no pleasure in the one who shrinks back. But we do not belong to those who shrink back and are destroyed, but to those who have faith and are saved. 
God says he wants us not to shrink back in fear and anxiety and worry, but rather he wants to step out in confidence. He wants us to believe him. He wants us to believe that what he has promised, he is going to keep his promise, and we can have confidence in that. He is coming and he will not delay his coming. The righteous ones live by faith. That's what the word of God says in Hebrews chapter 10, over and over and over. Listen, sometimes our confidence and faith is shown just in our willingness to not give up. These people went through some horrible trials, but they just did not give up. They were willing to persevere. You may be going through some real difficult time right now, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially. I'm not sure what it is, but I just want to encourage you. Don't give up. God's promises are yes and amen always. God always comes through. God's going to come through on your behalf and God will uh, bring his presence to bear in your situation. It doesn't mean today or tomorrow is going to be bright and cheery and sunny, but God will be with you and God will be, will, will, will stick with you closer than a friend, closer than a brother. He's going to be there always for you. And I just want to encourage you to live confidently in the promises of God. Just don't give up. Let's pray together. Father, uh, I recognize that there are people today who are facing some real difficulties, some real struggles, emotionally, uh, physically, uh, spiritually, real struggles. I just pray, Father, for the strength not to give up today, that we can live confidently in you, that we can persevere by holding on to the promises of God. And I pray, oh God, you'll strengthen that one today who feels like they're in a battle, who feels like they're in the struggle. I pray, God, that you'll bring others around them that can support them and hold them up. And I pray, oh God, that you would just be with them in a special way today. In Jesus' name I ask this. Amen. Hey, thanks for taking time to watch and thanks for taking time to be here. Uh, I pray God's blessing upon you today. Don't give up. Uh, God's working in your life and God's going to do great things for you yet still. Believe it. Uh, live confidently in the promises of God. They are always yes and amen. And God will complete his word and fulfill his word for you. Uh, believe it. Uh, let you uh, May you be encouraged today in the promise of God. God bless. Thanks for taking time to watch.